What's up everybody, Chat Cats Fishing here. Welcome to today's episode. I am fishing at Lake Dunaway in Dunlap, Tennessee. And I have the Signal Mountain Fishing Club here. I am the faculty advisor coach of this club. This is our first get together. Everyone's kind of spread out right now. Um, got one down there and this is just kind of a morning where we could get together and do some bass fishing and Lake Dunaway is a private fishing and hunting club so you got to have membership here to be a part of their community but there's some pretty nice bass in here some giants this is my first time here And I'm just using the Senko weightless rigged. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wacky rig this one. And it got some debris in here. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It is a little windy. Fish on. I think it's a fish. No, maybe not. Um, yep, it's one. There he is. Oh, I think he's still on, but I'm right around the brush. There we are. My first fish at Lake Dunaway. That's a baby. That's a good one though, guys. See what's around here. This place is pretty big, guys, and we're gonna go to another pond and see if we can smack a bass. What's up, Paul? Did you catch anything, brother? Not yet. Not yet? Hey, I like that mentality. Going for the big one, right? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I can see it's pretty shallow right yeah, in here. Right off that edge. Right, it's probably where they are, right? Let me see if I can see a little fish up there. All right, guys, we are here at the second pond. We're all going to kind of spread out. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a drop off right beyond these weeds. And I think if I can just get a good cast and let it sit there and move it a little bit, I should be able to get something. But I don't know if you guys can tell, it's really shallow in here. But I'm just going to make my way down. I see a bass. see a little one I can sight see a bass over there wonder if a top water would do good right now did 
you get one? Nice, Mason. That's not bad, brother. Try to show that up if you can. Kind of hard to see, guys, but nice little baby. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. There we go, fellas. Right when Mason gets one, I get one. Second fish of the day, guys. I'm just casting right in this little pocket uh, where the shallow meets the deeper water. Nice little bass. He's a dink, but it's a good one. There he goes. I, I come up here with my dad, dude. He'll come out here with a recurve and like just destroy out here. Wow. Fish on. Come here, come here. What's up? Not much, man. Nice little fish. Oh, Dad. This is uh, Trevor Barron right here. Fish Got Miles Cook. Fish for life. So tell us a little bit about this place, guys. What is it and um, what, what do people do here besides fishing? Well, oh, there's hunting, there's deer hunting was going on right now. There's quail and pheasant that's starting up soon, and it's 6,000 acres of non-fenced property. Now, this is private, right? Yes. yes, sir. Okay. So, do you know the membership of how much that costs? Is it like a year membership, or...? Well, you gotta, you gotta have property to have a membership. Like, I have a lot that we may or may not build a house on later on in, like, the time of our membership, but, uh... Yeah, you gotta have a lot to have a membership or just property somewhere on the place, but, uh... Yeah, it's worth it. I mean, they got a great amount of um, stuff to do. I mean, you fishing, hunting, there's five stand. Have you over there? Did y'all go over to the big lake? I don't know. This is my first time here. I did the, I guess, the pond that was over there. Caught one there. We a lake. We have a boat. We ought to take you on that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm game for it. I can only stay for like a couple hours, but um, I did, uh, I guess, a pond over there. Caught one here, and I just caught two here. So far, three fish for me. There's been a few people that have caught some dinks as well, nothing big. All right, guys, I'm going to resort to something a little bit smaller. I'm going to use this hook here and uh, use some little jigs and go for some bluegill. Here's a little waterfall or some sort of little creek almost that runs, I guess, Part of this property i don't know but uh i saw this and i thought definitely worth a try so what i'm going to do is put one of these little jig heads on and just see if i can get something try the white one first this isn't really the best setup but all I got. I didn't really bring much tackle. I brought some Senkos and I have these. Fish on! Right away, first catch of the day. Wow, as soon as I dropped it, guys. I'm not sure if this is like a little... 
creek chub, but beautiful. He took that right away, guys, on the on the first cast. That's awesome. So just kind of fishing this little waterfall and there's some moving water. So a lot of the fish will get concentrated in here. Now they're very small fish in here, but uh, fish on again, guys. Look at that. They are killing these though. Or they're just killing these grubs. Fish on. Woo, beautiful little fish here. I think this is the green sunfish. I could be wrong. This is where my multi-species identification is not good, or my panfish nonetheless, but very beautiful. Let's go and release them. fish on guys this is literally a slave fest in here look at that all right guys I'm gonna go over here Right here? Mm -hmm. It was like little creek chubs. You know what those are? Mm -hmm. If I catch one, I'll show you what they look like. They're either creek chubs or like little suckers. I'm pretty sure they're a creek chub though. And I caught a uh, little green sunfish. Okay. Those things are actually beautiful fish. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just, I just got a hit there. I may have to put on the white again. I was getting a lot of hits with the white. That's, that's what I was first using. There we go. Oh. There are babies in here. I mean, they're very, very small. But if you use like two pound line and just use like a little grub like this, you, you'll probably catch a lot of them, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm gonna have to head back. I gotta head back actually. Kaylee has a birthday party and I gotta get him. It's already technically, <laughs> it's 11 o'clock, but it's really noon Eastern time. Yeah. yeah so it's, it's gonna take me an hour to get back, I guess. It'll be one o'clock. All right, guys, sounds good. I'll see ya. We're gonna call quits for this episode, guys. 
had a really great time fishing for bass and also some multi-species down near that waterfall area. I guess it's like a drainage area from this lake that I guess drains out into here. I don't know, but uh, like always guys, give a thumbs up for this video and we'll see you later.